Hey everybody. You know I like to experiment and uh, kind of explore different ways of doing things and come up with some different ideas that I could ultimately share with you guys and uh, recently I installed this new antenna on the roof of my RV and uh, you may probably see it right about there, things sticking up on the RV roof and uh, my goal was to actually install it and mount it in a way that didn't require me to drill any holes into the roof of the RV but I still needed it to be really sturdy and strong and uh, it wasn't going to move or come off or anything as I drove down the road at you know high speed Yippee! <laughs> it also needed to be weatherproof and uh, you know somewhat versatile so I could uh, be able to move it up and down. Now I showed you guys this uh, antenna in the previous video and some of you left uh, comments basically saying I wanted to see more about how you built that mount and uh, you know maybe we'll put it to the test see how it does out on the road so that's what we're going to talk about today. Now when I was first uh, figuring out how to uh, mount this antenna, I actually ended up looking around and found a lot of the components that I already had and I was able to use those, including this um, marine antenna mount that I actually have had for several years and I bought it for another project but never actually used it. And uh, I also had this uh, piece of uh, stainless steel that was used to mount this little 5 watt um, solar panel that was mounted to the roof of my RV when I first bought it but I never used it. I eventually tossed that little solar panel but I kept the stainless steel piece. Now I wanted to mount that on top of another uh, wooden surface and I just found some uh, scrap uh, plywood that I had around the house. It didn't really need to be anything weatherproof at this point. Using this uh, piece of plywood I wanted to cut it down but create kind of a 45 degree uh, bevel edge to it so that I had a little bit more surface area to uh, to work with in terms of uh, sticking it down to the RV. Now I ultimately wanted to use some uh, Eternabond tape to do this that I've used in other projects so I wanted to create a nice kind of aerodynamic look to it with this bevel that gave me that surface area also allowed you know some of the water and stuff to to shed off easier and then I also uh, just kind of took a file and and got rid of any really sharp edges since it's going to be right up against my rubber roof and I didn't want any chance of anything you know poking a hole or you know making a little cut in there or anything like that I think it's starting to rain great <laughs> we'll keep talking so once I had the uh, piece of uh, metal cut and I took the the uh, sheet metal with the uh, filler uh, piece in there and I simply glued it down to the top of the uh, of that piece of wood. Once I had it glued I clamped it down and allowed it to dry. Now once it dried I uh, went ahead and put a coat of white paint on it including the sheet metal part because um, I wanted it to be covered and it's going to uh, blend in nicely with the roof but also give it a nice uh, protective coat of something before I actually mounted it on the roof. Mounting the antenna to the antenna mount itself I ended up just using a standard PVC T connector that had a threaded end that I could simply screw right onto the antenna mount. It is a one inch uh, I believe diameter uh, connector and what I ended up doing is just picking up a couple of uh, stainless steel uh, bolts that I could simply drill holes for right through that T connector and then mount that right to the antenna. And I also ended up just cutting a little slot inside, you know, through a lateral slot uh, on the top of the T connector to give me a little bit of flex. So as I tightened it down, it was always going to stay nice and tight. And those bolts, even though they were lock bolts, uh, were not going to come out at all. So it gave it a little bit of pressure on there to keep it nice and tight. Now another option is to actually use a, uh, a little end like this that has a threaded end that you could simply attach to a longer uh, PVC tube like this one inch, uh, I don't know, two and a half feet long if you wanted to put something up a little higher and uh, you can simply screw it in in place of the other T connector and uh, this will work pretty good and then you could also just lay it back down when you're not using it. I wouldn't recommend keeping this up when you're going down the highway though. Now attaching the uh, that that marine mount to the actual uh, 
platform that I created, I was going to use uh, screws for that and I picked up four uh, stainless steel uh, screws that I would use to actually screw in and, and uh, permanently mount that, uh, that antenna mount to that platform. And uh, I also ended up putting some uh, small magnets in the bottom just to see uh, how strong that would be uh, if I were to mount anything magnetic to that uh, stainless steel plate. So it's certainly not something that you would have to do. It's just something I was totally experimenting with and playing around with. Uh, for larger things, I've found uh, that uh, things like, uh, say, a toilet mounting bolt actually work really well. Yeah. A toilet mounting bowl. You can get them at Home Depot for you know five bucks or less, and uh, you know they have a flat surface on there, so you can just screw the base of this bolt uh, to the uh, to the wood or metal surface that you have, and then from there you could just mount uh, larger things to it and actually bolt things down uh, using that bolt, and it's uh, pretty secure. It seems to hold it down pretty well. Waiting for the plane. Do -do 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 -do. Now with the whole antenna of uh, mount all put together, it's time to take it down to the RV and actually get it mounted onto the roof. And I planned to use Eternabon tape for this because I had used it in previous projects and I thought it would be uh, plenty strong for something like this, but I hadn't actually done it before. So I took it all down and I positioned it uh, right where I needed it and I started with uh, kind of a lower level of Eternabon tape that would uh, actually giving a little bit more surface area, covering up that bevel, and uh, be able to spread out as far as I could onto the surface of the roof, which would ultimately give me some more uh, added strength, which is what I really wanted for this. So when I was done, I'm you know pretty much uh, attaching the cable and uh, getting everything all wrapped up. Now I know you guys are probably thinking, come on, is this really going to be strong enough to keep something on the roof without flying off, especially when you're flying down the highway at uh, 60, 65, 70 <laughs> miles per hour, but uh, you know, I honestly uh, haven't tried it yet and uh, I'm curious myself. I think it's going to be strong enough. But uh, really, there's only one way to find out for sure. Uh, but I should probably test it out first. Um. Well, I think that was a pretty good test. What do you think? Hey, if you guys have any uh, ways that maybe we can improve on this setup, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll check out those comments and uh, yeah, maybe we can make this even better. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, hey, if you're not subscribed, um, I'm sure you got your reasons. Mm -hmm.